Hey YouTube, um, what we're going to be doing today is blustery day. We um, are going to be putting this cut off piece of I-beam on top of the hydraulic tank. This is going to uh, raise up the um, this is going to raise up the I-beam so it'll be easier for us to uh, you know we'll put logs up. Uh, we won't be bent over all the time. It's one thing a lot of log splitters are too low to the ground, so this is going to raise up the I-beam a little bit. So Alright, so we have the I-beam welded on. It's welded on uh, up underneath this lip. I got a couple passes under there and I got a couple passes around. Um, and tied it in pretty well. So that's all set and then I'll let that slowly cool down. Um, so uh, I'm pretty happy with uh, the weld and the weld quality how it came out uh, so next thing we're gonna do is uh, I think I'm gonna take down some of this rust here just uh, with the grinder a little bit and then uh, just so I'll be able to get to it now um, and then shortly after that we'll start uh, arranging things so we can get the I-beam cut to length with the plasma cutter and set up on top of here and um, start planning then where our tube will come out because we're going to be pushing that way and we'll have our hitch this way so that uh, we can set our wood aside and not have to worry about having the hitch on the same side as where all the action is going to be and it will make things a lot easier. Okay, so I just finished putting another bead on the back. That's the back lip. And along the side. That came out pretty good. That's tied in and melted the top and the bottom. And then I ran one more along here. And that came out pretty good, tying the the top into the bottom. Alright, so we got a lot accomplished today. We uh, got the I-beam cut down from uh, 10 feet down to the 62 inches that I'm going to use. And uh, from there, and we also got some additional welding done, which we needed to put some extra beads on there. Um, and that came out very, very nice. So this part is going to sit up on top of this. Um, so we can kind of get an idea of um, how high it's going to be. I need to get hubs and I need to get wheels. That's probably going to be the next uh, purchase. Stay tuned for part six when we start uh, uh, welding the beam on top of the I-beam plate 
and we'll also uh, build a little uh, stand for the front so and get some wheels on it and this thing's gonna really start looking like a log splitter um, so thanks a lot, and uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Guys, we'll uh, really appreciate everybody watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and we'll be back with the next video in part six.